Huh? Why do our palms have lines? The lines on our palms, known as palmar flexion creases, develop before birth and have important functions. They allow our skin to bend and stretch easily when we grip or move our hands. Without them, our palms would be too stiff, making precise hand movements harder. These lines also improve grip by reducing friction. Some believe they hold clues about personality or destiny, but their main purpose is biological. Like fingerprints, palm lines are unique to each person due to genetic and developmental differences. Hmm. What is the science behind our chins? No ways! There is nothing behind my chin. Oh, chum pum! Firstly, it is believed that chins relieve our jaws from the stress that they encounter while chewing food. Secondly, it is believed that our tongues may be putting a lot of stress on our jaws while speaking. Now our chin may be acting as a reinforcing bone, which resists that pressure. Thirdly, it is believed that chins exist to help us attract mates. Lastly, according to one theory, our ancestors had bigger faces. We evolved into smaller ones, and our chins are still gradually shrinking. Hmm. What is mpox? Simple. When monkey eats a pox, he becomes an mpox. Oh, huh? chum pum. Monkey pox was discovered in 1958 when an outbreak of pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970. Monkeypox virus is part of the same family of viruses as variola virus, the virus that causes smallpox. Its symptoms are similar to smallpox, but milder. Symptoms of monkeypox may include fever, headache, muscle aches, backache, chills, exhaustion, and a rash that looks like pimples or bristles. Also, monkeypox is rarely fatal. Hmm. What causes people to be allergic? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead huh? starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. Why do our feet stink? Nah, only Chum Pum's hands stink. Huh? Oh, Chum Pum. The reason is bacteria. Bacteria love to grow in damp and dark places like our sweaty shoes. Also, they multiply easily in sweat. So if we don't wear socks, then their numbers will increase rapidly. The bacteria eat the oils as well as the dead skin cells from our skin. Now, these bacteria start getting rid of the waste in the form of organic acids. These organic acids basically give our feet that bad smell. Hmm. How do mirrors work? They don't work. Chum Pum makes them work. Oh, Chum Pum. Firstly, visible light or sunlight is made up of seven different colors. Hmm. A mirror consists of a glass surface in the front, and behind it is an extremely smooth and thin metal film. Now, when light falls on the mirror, it passes through the glass surface and reaches the metal film. The metal film does not absorb any colors of light. Instead, it reflects back all of them. As a result, we can see ourselves in the mirror. Hmm. How do we puke? No idea. Chum Pum never pukes. Huh? Oh, Chum Pum. Puking or vomiting is generally controlled by a part of the brain called area postrema. Now, when it instructs our stomach to purge, several things happen in our body. Firstly, our teeth get coated with excess saliva to protect them from stomach acid. Our heart rate and breathing increases as we retch. Finally, the stomach and other abdominal muscles forcefully push the contents upwards and we puke. Hmm. Do blind people really dream? 
Nobody can dream. Only Chum Pum can dream. Oh, Chum Pum. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm.